so I might not have any words on day five, and that is going to put me 1,800 words behind, which is a risky game to play. <laughs> Hey guys, it is almost 5.30 on Friday afternoon. I have just finished my live coffee chat. It is pouring down rain here and I'm just now starting the vlog. I actually am gonna take you guys shopping with me because I have to go pick up some things at Staples that I had printed and I think I'm also gonna check out maybe the Marshalls or Home Goods or something that's around there and then I will come back and eat dinner and get my writing in and edit my vlog. We had a really slow start morning because we had a rough night with the kids last night and then it's been raining so we've all been just kind of cozy but it is working afternoon. Friday we are ready to go so let's get moving. Okay, so it is raining harder than I thought and I don't have an umbrella. I did have my rain jacket in here from when I was in the car yesterday, so I at least put that cover over my hair. But I think that I'm just gonna take my staple stuff. I didn't even bring my camera in there. I'm just gonna take it and head home because I don't wanna be out too much in the rain and end up getting sick or something like that. So we're just gonna go home. <laughs> it's so rainy. It's so windy and rainy. I do not wanna go out. I also have to get my little paper bag worth of stuff. I'm gonna shove it under my jacket, I think, and run in. Here we go. Ah, it's not working out. Hey guys, it is 9.30 p.m. on day five of NaNoWriMo. I'm still sitting at a little over 7,000 words. I'm supposed to get to 8,000 or so tonight. My word count goals per day are still a little bit different than NaNoWriMo's because I'm going for 1840 a day instead of 1667 to make up for the days that I have moving days where I'm only gonna write a thousand words but <laughs> I've been staying basically on par with the 1667 and I need to get a little bit ahead. But I'm also hitting a point where a lot of the brainstorming type stuff, which has been the bulk of my words so far, is done and I need to just figure out what are the scenes that I'm writing and get to the actual real writing of the book. And I'm struggling to do that because I haven't got enough plotting done and I am just a plotter. I need to get some done. And I'm going to try to do as minimal as I need to, to get into act one. So for Nano, I only need to write half the book. So I'm talking about going through act one and through act two, not even all the way through act two to the final um, midpoint scenes. I just need to get through act one should take me to about 25 to 30,000 words. So that's going to be a large chunk of my nano. So I feel like if I can just sit down and figure out act one, and I have some thoughts from the brainstorming, but I just need to solidify all of it. So I have um, eaten pretty well today, actually, like almost all completely healthy foods, but I am having some popcorn tonight. I'm also having a glass of wine. And I have decided that instead of setting this up in plotter right now, I'm actually going to use a poster board. So this is just a literally a plain piece of poster board that I bought from Office Depot for like 49 cents. It's not even a very heavy kind of cardstock. And I was able to fold it up so that now I have basically what you would call eight sequences. So I have two sections for act one, two sections for act two, part one, two sections for act two, part two, and then two sections for act three. And this is the way I tend to do my plotting grids anyway. If you have my plotting notebook, you will have seen that before and it's not uncommon. It's a pretty common way to see it as kind of, it's three acts, but act two takes up the majority of the book and that's the way that I like to plot. 
I have that and I also have the post-it notes that I purchased also when we were in our Cape Coral Airbnb. And so I tend to write with four points of view. There are actually six points of view in this book, but there's four main points of view. So I've got all four of them here. I have two male, two female points of view. And I have kept this same color code for years. So I've got that. I also have these little Zig clean color dot markers. If you've never used these before, on they're double tipped, dual tipped. And on one side, they have just a regular marker. But on the other side here, if you can see that, it has a like a little round sponge that when you open it and you put it down, it just makes a little dot like a bullet point. And I have them in every single color they make. <laughs> every color known to man. Um, but I have them in the four colors of my POV. Let me pull them out for you. So I have them in the four colors for my points of view here that match my little note cards here. I also do have a couple more for the other two points of view. So I haven't decided, I probably will not actually write on this white poster board just yet because I don't have anything finalized. That's why I like to use the post post-it notes because you can move them around so i think i'm going to start with some really broad sweeping ideas and see if that helps so i might not have any words on day five and that is going to put me 1800 words behind which is a risky game to play <laughs> but i think it's necessary So it is about midnight. George and I had a good plotting session that is going to take some time to kind of thoroughly digest and think about because some of the things that we've talked about might make the story too big to fit into one book. But if you're reading the series, don't get too excited about that because I'm trying to finish this in one book because it feels like the natural end. So we'll just see how it goes. But this tends to happen to me that my stories in terms of series tend to elongate. I think it's going to be a trilogy. It ends up being 12 books. So <laughs> this is just how it is with me. So I am going to see how it goes. And when it comes to my word count, I ended up with zero words for day five, but it's going to be okay. I tend to, to be a word like a binge person, a binge writer that I can get, you know, 10,000 words on a good day when the story is flowing but I can't always count on that to happen during NaNoWriMo because we're moving. There's a lot of things. I'm not going to be able to go do like a hotel night necessarily, although it's not completely out of the realm of possibility, but it would just feel kind of wasteful to be like renting an Airbnb and then also go get a hotel room. So I'm probably not going to do that, but I can hopefully create pockets of time during our double down days and stuff like that. Evie just got up, so I had to go give her some more milk for nighttime and just kind of comfort her, but she's still crying a little bit. We've had a couple of rough nights with her, so we're going to try to keep things really calm and low key and restful the next few days. But I did get a bit of my plotting sheets filled out. You can kind of see from here, hopefully you can't read that, but you can kind of see from here that I did get a lot of thoughts on to act one and just a little bit of stuff on act two. And I'm hoping I can get more of that work done tomorrow. But my thought right now is, do I want to spend double down day tomorrow trying to write out some of the first scenes that I can see in my head that happens in this? 
or do I want to spend the next few days really trying to get the plot solidified and then playing catch up and adding, you know, a few two or 3000 word days onto my goal. I hate to get behind so early in week one. So I hate to do that. But then I also have this, there's this part of me that hates to get started writing something that I know I'm not going to use. So I don't know. I will make that decision tomorrow. Hopefully I can get Evie to go back to sleep and I need to clean this up or she will ter terrorize the entire stack of post-its tomorrow and just destroy them. So I got to get that cleaned up, but it's a good start. And I'm appreciative of my amazing husband who always has such great ideas and is a fun brainstorming partner. So I love hanging out with him. So I'm sure we'll be talking about this a lot more for the months to come, but Day five is in the books, zero words, but still made progress. How are you doing? Let me know in the comments how Nano is going for you. And if you are enjoying these vlogs so far, which I hope you are, that's my update for today. I will see you guys on day six. Good night.